This video will show you how to perform a microhematocrit. Introduce yourself, identify your patient, wash your hands, apply gloves. Perform a capillary puncture on your patient. Wipe away the first drop of blood with a gauze square. Gather the microhematocrit tubes out of the container. Hold the microhematocrit tube as you would hold a pencil or pen, horizontally with the opening next to the drop of blood that appears at the puncture site and fill. Obtain as many tubes as ordered. After you have the blood sample that you need, wipe the outside end of the glass tube with a gauze square while still holding it horizontally. Have the patient hold a dry gauze square on the puncture site. Make sure bleeding has stopped. Offer the patient a bandage. Carefully seal the tube by placing it into the clay. You will notice that there are numbers on the clay and those correlate to where the capillary tubes will be placed inside the centrifuge machine. Here you can see that another sample is being taken from the patient. Wipe the outside end of the glass tube with the gauze square before you seal the tube. Provide a gauze square for your patient. After you bandage your patient up, you will then prepare your samples to be placed into the microhematocrit centrifuge machine. Open up the machine, carefully untwist the top, and take off. Secure the sealed end of the tube against the rubber padding in the centrifuge. Sealed end of tube is always toward you. Balance the centrifuge with another tube opposite it. Inside the machine, there are numbers. Make sure that you document what number that you place your capillary tube in. Sometimes you may have more than one patient sample inside the machine, so ensuring that the proper number is documented is extremely important. Close the inside cover carefully over the tubes and lock it in place by turning the dial clockwise. Then close and lock the outside cover. Listen for it to click into place. If you forget to put the inside cover on, all of your samples will be ruined. The inside cover is very important. Turn the timer switch to 3 to 5 minutes. It will automatically turn off. Wait until the centrifuge has completely stopped spinning and unlock both covers. When your samples are done, you will then take them out and read the results. Carefully place the tube inside the reader. The bottom of the bloodline should meet the zero. And you will slide the reader to the right so the top of the plasma line meets the black line. Slide the bar up to where it meets the top of the red. This is where the blood meets the plasma. If you read the number to the right, this will show the pack cell volume. For example, the pack cell volume here is 43%. You will want to read the results for both capillary tubes. You will add those two results together and divide by two for your patient's final result. Generally, a normal range for men is considered to be 38.3% to 48.6%. For women, it is considered to be 35.5% to 44.9%. After you have accurately read your results, disinfect your work area, discard used items in the proper raised receptacles, remove gloves, and wash hands. Document in the patient's medical chart. 